The percutaneous laser disectomy is a simple and minimally invasive procedure performed under local anesthesia. It takes 30 to 40 minutes, then the patient is discharged and returns home. The lumbago is the most common cause of premature retirement. The National Safety Council reported years ago the following data. It affects 80% of the adult population, 2.5 million in the United States. In over 60% of cases is due to a herniated disc. In one out of 25 people change profession in the United Kingdom. It accounts for two-thirds of retired persons in Austria, loss of 1.7 million work per day per year in the United States, 1.2 million disabled adults in one single day, loss of $3. billion dollars in terms of work time loss and medical expenses. The disc is like a cushion. With an external covering, let's say the fabric, is the annulus fibrosus, and the an internal component, let's say the foam, is the nucleus pulposus. Should this annulus fibrosus lose strength, then its inner component, the nucleus pulposus of the disc, will protrude or bulge. This bulging gets in touch with the local nerve root, causing pain. The disc is situated between every two vertebrae. In the same way, as the cushion expands laterally when sitting on it, so the disc does, because of the pressure exerted over the vertebral column following any type of physical activity. In the lower lumbar region, the compressed nerve root takes part in the formation of the sciatic nerve, thus causing what is known as sciatica. The word laser is an acronym highlighting the fact that the laser is indeed a light beam. This unit a Giga Laser G-Box, the last generation in medical laser system, is the one used in this procedure with excellent results. The procedure is performed in the operating room on the local anesthesia and fluoroscopy guidance, following all the steps observed in a major surgery under strict surgical conditions with a registered nurse, an X-ray technician to manage the CR, and an assistant. An IV line is placed in the forearm of the patient and cardiac monitoring is assured. The TV screen allows to see the vertebral column and determine the location of the affected disc in the same way as can be seen the born-to-be of a pregnant woman during a sonography. The patient lies on one side, with the painful leg facing up over a special table equipped with a double screen imaging and then facility. After the diosepsis, the patient is draped with sterile surgical sheet. Local anesthesia of skin and subcutaneous tissue is injected, and the needle, housing to be the laser fiber, is introduced into the herniated disc. The fluoroscopy confirms that the needle is in the very interior of the affected disc, both in the lateral and in the anterior-posterior view. Due to the water content of the disc, 60 to 
the heat released by the laser beam causes dehydration and vaporization of the disc, as well as denaturation of the protein material. All of this causes a fall in the disc pressure and a progressive fading of pain, numbness, tingling, and complaints in the affected leg. After each discharge session, the patient is asked about any change in the pre-op complaints and a neurological assessment is accomplished by the assistant personnel. Once the patient claims to be free of every discomfort and pain, the laser fiber is withdrawn. As well as the needle, just the side of the puncture is seen, which is covered with a bandage. The patient gets up and is happy to return home and to a normal life. The percutaneous laser disectomy is the safest and simplest procedure to treat the herniated disc.